everybody. I'm going to leave this where it is. You're fine. I'm going to leave this where it is because it already fell once. Um, and I don't, need, I don't need to break another glass screen protector. But it is currently July 6th. And it's 85 degrees outside. I feel like it's hot. Outside. And I am wearing a short sleeve shirt. Uh, it says taking the scenic route. But I am here to make a Christmas in July video. And what I'm going to talk about today <clears throat> is my favorite family Christmas traditions that we do in my family. And ready? Let's go. Oh, and also this is a collaboration with my friend Brittany. Um, I don't know which video is going first for her because we haven't like uploaded them yet but we're working on that but regardless just know that this video is in collaboration with her so I will tag her and go check out her videos <clears throat> so um the first thing that I have to say is that you guys know that I became an aunt in 2021 and I have to say that seeing the the magic of the holidays through their eyes whether it's the cute little outfits that i picked out for my nieces or like reliving childhood of like getting toys that like i got as a kid and then like either have them like reimagined um for them or just like a completely new and innovative idea um i have to say that that's been the funnest or the most fun grammar police don't come after me but that's been the most fun um tradition is seeing like my childhood again through their eyes or and like also getting to play with like their kitchens and stuff they have like kitchens and washers and dryers and dyson vacuums that actually work and stuff so yeah that's been the most fun part and then um i would say last year was pretty fun too because i was trying to buy a nativity scene uh with my nieces in mind but we were gonna keep it at my um my house my mother's house because i still live at home with my parents so when um the kids come over here they also come over to auntie bubble's house and that's um that's what they know me as is auntie bubbles and um because i hate uh auntie m from wizard of oz that movie like terrified me as a child so i hate it um anyway so uh last year we bought this like nativity scene from uh amazon but we didn't realize till we opened it that it was actually an advent calendar so it had one through 24 on it and then like every day you would get like a new piece of the the manger scene um but they're like little people so they're like plastic so they're good for the kids to play with so not only is it good to learn about like religiosity and like the story of christmas and the story of jesus but you can also like play like farm you know kind of thing um and like you don't have to worry about it breaking right um but on ebay they had like the little manger that was separate. And I'm like, we cannot have a nativity scene without a manger. So I went up on eBay and I got the manger for $20. So this year we're set and ready to go. Um, I might still do kind of the advent thing, like <clears throat> set up the manger and then like put, put like a little 
tablecloth or felt or something and then have them every day pick a new thing maybe or like in an, an activity one day um the thing i can't wait to do is uh the magical elf on the shelf um you know to help out sc there i can't wait to do that i'm so excited because even for that they have like subscription boxes but this is not new traditions this is me getting back to my old traditions okay focus um <clears throat> but no i i really like and i i touched upon this in a video with Brittany a little bit but i really like just the fact that you can have like a box of ornaments right and like a section that like you either made when you were a kid or like um you got when you were a kid and it can bring you back to immediately like oh that was 2004 in mrs thurston's class of third graders you know what i mean um or like i know that um when i was little and the first time we went to disney like each of us kids got a disney themed ornament and i still have mine it's broken but i still have it and mine is boo from monsters inc with um sully uh sitting out from behind the door um so i mean i guess you could do that with any sort of like holiday decorations but like i don't really have like the attachment to like the easter decorations that i do uh the christmas ones um and i love uh so not only um our nativity scene like with the kids and stuff but i love the one that my mom has because my grandmother took that for a while um to use in her apartment um because her apartment was only a one bedroom uh elderly apartment and it like was just big enough for like a tabletop something so um my mom gave her the nativity to borrow and one of my favorite videos that i've ever done is um setting up the camera and just like recording and putting up the um nativity with my grandmother because uh she was confused and she was pretty in the thick of it with dementia but she she understood, right? Because she was a very, very devout religious person. So she she understood the nativity, you know? Um, and that's just, you know, one of the memories that I'll hold dear forever. Um, cause, and especially this year, because this is the first um, Christmas without her. So I will hold that dear. Um, and of course, you know, watching the Christmas movies while baking cookies or whatever, um, my sister-in-law, which I technically guess you could say is my sister, I think of her as a second big sister, um, because I have a big sister already, um, but her and her mom, I know they bake, like, hundreds of cookies every year. They take, like, one Saturday in december and they like make like 15 different cookies um but i think my my greatest tradition of all is um <laughs> wait i just remembered that song oh the most na 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 Is it the most magical reindeer of them all? I think so. I'll have to look that up. But you know where I'm going with this. I don't want to get copyrighted. But um, I think my favorite tradition is our big family party every year. So my mom is one of nine kids. So I have five aunts and 
four uncles. And I have, just in my immediate family, I have 18 first cousins. So when we get together, it's a, it's a party. And I love, we don't draw names anymore for gifts. We did that when everybody was younger. And like, I would get like my cousins and stuff. But like, we do a grab bag and it gets pretty heated. Let me tell you. Let me tell you. Um, but the, like, because my, not like that, oh my God, I want like this gift. But it's that my family is pretty competitive. Usually it's over lottery tickets or like some kind of alcohol. Because like, apparently that's a good gift. Like, I don't drink, so like, go ahead. But like, some of those bottles of alcohol is pretty expensive. So that's what they get competitive over. Um, no, but I just, um, my mom usually plans a game every year. Like, uh, one year it was like, you had to wrap a present, but you could only use like a simple piece of paper. Like you couldn't use a gift bag, like you had to use paper. And then um, you had to use oven mitts to like unwrap it and stuff, or wrap, either wrap it or unwrap it. I know, I know you guys know what I'm saying. Um, and then we did like a gingerbread house decorating contest. I swear, like I was in stitches because like some people are like real like into it and they're like, okay, well we gotta have like a construction plan and then we gotta do this and then we gotta do this. And then some people are just, like, real chill about it. Oh, my God. It was so funny. It was just so funny. Um, I swear, I was in stitches. But, honestly, just, like, spending time together, like, as a family. And, like, going to look at Christmas lights and stuff. That's some of the best memories and traditions. And, and I'm excited as, like, my nieces get older and we add more into the fold maybe um that we come up with new traditions um actually there was a lot of newness last year because something that happened last year that I would hope to continue is that um I took hope to go see Santa Claus and we got pictures taken and what was the other thing that happened I'm trying to think what was oh like we um we went to go look at like Christmas lights in one of those big parks that like does the lights every year we went to go do that too and I've seen the Rock Cats a couple times. I haven't since COVID, but I've seen them twice. But that's like a neat, I mean, unless you do want to go every year, but like they don't really ever change their show. So, yeah. Um, but with that, let me know. Oh, I know what we did. Um, in, was it 20? No, it had to be 2020. Mom! What year did we do the cookie swap? Yeah. Okay, so in Christmas 2020, um, because my family is like a huge um, dessert family. Um, and we love like a good dessert table, so we did a cookie swap with just like five or six people that we knew like would be safe. I even like wore gloves to make them because I, rem I remember filming that, and we did like a cookie swap, but everybody had to have like a different, um, different what do you call it cookie. And then another tradition that was new within the last couple of years is that we get matching pajamas. We, we were never one of those 
people that did that as kids. We only started doing that as we got older, <laughs> which is kind of funny, but like it's fun. So yeah, that is my like five or six traditions that I could think of off the top of my head. Um, and yeah, thank you so much for watching. Let me know your favorite Christmas traditions down below and I'll see you tomorrow.